Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, getting ready to show the reveal, wig reveal, and wig review. As you can see, I have a little stocking cap on my head that came with the wig. The wig is Human Hair Remy, and it's silver gray. As you see, the lace gives you about three inches in the middle, three and a half in the middle, and about two and a half to three on the side. As you can see, I co-washed the wig. Now when it first came, I forgot to take a photograph of it. It was dead straight. And I'll show you an image from the uh, site I bought it from. Now, what I did was I co-washed it. I just conditioned it real good. And I wanted to make sure there was no corona on my hair. <laughs> but anyway, um, it, it didn't have a, a smell at all. It was fine. And the color was true gray, true silver gray. It came out very well. But what I did was I co-washed it. And then, as you can see, I'm showing the parting space. And it gives you about, on the side, it gives you about two and a half to three inches on the side, closer to two and a half. And in the middle, you get three to three and a half inches, which is, is sufficient for a part. But anyway, um, it's it, I like my parts a little deeper, but it's not that it's not that big of a deal. At least I don't feel cheated. Now, as you can see, I don't have anything holding the wig on my head. I just slapped it on after I let it dry overnight in braids. I braided it up to give it that texture because it was a very limp wave pattern, which I still prefer a wave pattern than straight. So um, now I haven't cut anything. This is just having co-washed it, period, and braiding it up. Braiding it up, adding that more texture made it look even thicker, but I'm not looking for that much thickness because I'm too old to wear a mop on my head. <laughs> I re-wet it so you can see the true texture of the hair. Now originally when it came it was dead straight and I co-washed it, I conditioned it. So this is what I want to show you. You see this? These are thinning shears and I want you to see how to use them. They're old, so yeah. Anyway, around the edge, this is what a lot of people don't realize. This is human hair. It's Remy. I got it from AliExpress. And human Remy hair is the best because all the cuticles go in the same direction. Now, what I want you to see is how you work with the edges. You take about, as you can see, the lace. I take the lace portion a little less than the lace portion. Okay? Even the part over the ear. I pull it forward. I'll show you the kind of brush I use. This is the kind of brush I use. I pull it forward so that the strands are together. And I take little sections because you want to do it in sections so that you don't do too much of a big section at one time. Now, I want to start up near the baby hair. You notice some of these twigs have already been cut. Well, I have my own baby hair right there. So what I do is I go with the front part, the front section, that's going to lay against the hairline anyway. All right. And I go, I, I begin to thin. Now watch what I do. I go in close, about a half an inch away from the edge. Okay. I close it and I pull. I close it uh, an inch further out and I pull. Now you see what happens when I pull. Strands of hair coming out. These are called thinning shears. This is what makes the hair look more natural. People think that you have a lot of thick hair around your edge. Most people don't have that. I don't care how thick their own hair is. This part of the hairline is always the thinnest. Look at all that hair coming out. Now, 
I just start to kind of clamp it up and down unevenly because you want the hairline to look uneven and natural but not long all right so you see how I'm going through now I want this section to be kind of short anyway so I'm going to take it up at an angle all right now I'll show you how to do this so you when you come out in public you want people to think all of that hair is yours so now you go down to the scalp almost not totally you don't try to hit it all at the same point you just clamp it throughout these are cheap shears so they're not doing that good of a job but the bottom line is when I'm done and I put a little gel on it it's gonna lay like a natural hairline that's the point that's the goal all right they call them baby hairs but I create my own because I know mine will look a lot more natural I I was a child with baby hair and I know how baby hair lays I know how mine did so I just imitate what my baby hair did all right we already know we don't need all this hair around the edge so we just kind of taper it down till it ends up being nothing all right because that's what you want you want twigs around the edge all right that way when the wind blows those little twigs will stay in place and look how they camouflage the hairline so much better Whew. all right now I'm going to show you what I do with the hair I bring it all together now you see how much thinner that is right there a person with a normal edge line is not going to have a mop right at the edge right up to the edge of their face it's just not going to be so you want it to look more believable now you take the next section all right and you clamp at the root, clamp away, keep clamping, 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 clamping. And you take the brush, and when you take the brush and you go through, you're picking up the hairs that have been cut. And because these are cheap, I have to clamp a lot more often than normal. All right. But the bottom line is you want your hair to look natural. You don't want it to look like a wig. So for those of you women who want to have 10 tons of hair, trust me, when people look at you, they'll tell you you're looking cute. But they know. They know it's not yours. All right. See, I don't mind people knowing I have a wig on, but I don't want them to look at it and figure it out for themselves. I want to shock them when I say, oh, this isn't my hair, it's a wig. What? Yeah, you want it to look that real. All right. Good layering helps, makes it look more natural. Just kind of run over it ever so slightly so that you have different lengths going on along the hairline. That's the most uneven, choppy part of your hair. The hairline. Alright. Now, this is already starting to look more natural. It's not even attached to my head. I'm just showing you how it should look. So when it is attached, oh my goodness, it's going to be so real looking. People are going to swear up and down. They're looking at your scalp. Look at that. Now see my baby hair? When I work my baby hair into everything and lay it down and pop it up and stick it in all different directions like it does when my own hair is done. Look at that. All right. Now, this section up in here, just the front as if you're cutting a bang. Just the front. That's the, the most important part. All right. 
go in here that should be your choppiest section now this is what a lot of people do when they wear a wig they wear it too far forward and they think that looks natural it makes them look like a caveman you pull that hair back to your hairline I got to go back in and do some more thinning because as you can see it is definitely not thin enough. After thinning the hair properly you should feel resistance on your comb or brush. Now I got a good amount this time. There you go. Yes. Now you don't want it too thin because it's going to thin along the, the, the way. But you want it to at least be believable. Oh, young ladies, stop worshiping the hair. The hair should enhance you, not you enhancing the hair. All right. Now you see how this hair lays over the baby hair, over the hairline? This is the hair you take as well. Here we go. Ready? Now remember what I said before about baby hair. It is the raggedy's hair in a bunch. So that's the one you just kind of whack away and don't try to be pretty about it. You want it to be as natural as possible. And then you can make that as thin as you want it. Here's some more edge here. All right, you get it right about where that curvature is. Go in, bring it out, and just kind of cut it unevenly up and down. See, those little hairs will stay in when the rest blows around. Time for the flat iron. I hope you enjoyed your little class. God bless you. And join me at Pats2Cents.com. I love my hair! Five stars.